guys. I just spoke with the game warden and he let us know that this is a navigable water. The game warden also said he's going to give a call to the sheriff's office so that he lets them know in case they do get a call from this guy that we have a right of passage, right of portage. We're good to go. Guys, I'm going to switch it up today just a little. Still throwing this uh, crawl trailer but uh, throwing it on this jig. I've already had a bass hit it up by the entry where it came in. Jig guys, they like the jig. Hey, hey, bro. That's a way to release them. <laughs> Scott. We're being nice and respectful too, man. Yeah. As long as you don't get too close with those rocks, buddy. Don't yeah, hit me or my kayak. Came out with a bowl of rocks. Hook one, look. Look right there, Jonathan, look. Go watch it. There's uh, something else. That's seven inch. What? Yep. Boom. Damn. Got him. Ooh, I think that was painless. Nice chunk for the day, guys. Guys, so like I said, I'm changing it up today, guys. I'm throwing a flipping jig, 3 8 ounce, uh, green pumpkin flipping jig. And I also just bought this right here, guys. 7 inch bull shad, gizzard shad right here. Just caught a little chunk on it. Hoping to catch a lump. Let's see how it goes. I was just. <clears throat> yep, yeah, other one. And this dude's pissed. the day is not getting my shoes wet I don't know how that's gonna be possible in some of these areas but so far I've managed to stay dry the way I fish my jigs 
pass it out when it lands I let that thing hit the bottom you'll see the slack in the line Oop, slack that means you're on the bottom pop up once reel in your slack just a little pop up again do a couple pops or whatever you want to do a couple hits reel it in that's it pass to the next spot fish hits this jig it's going to be right away you can pop it on the way down, you know, give a little action on the way down. But most of your hits are coming right when this bait hits the water. Got one right on the fall, guys. Ooh. Decent. Yeah. Right when it hit the water. Didn't even have a chance to do anything. Waiting for it. Get a chunk. Nice chunk. On the jig. Green pumpkin's always a good color to go with, man, to start. If you got stained water, of course, you want like a little black and blue, or maybe some, so go with some orange, some Bama Crawl. That Bama, Bama color, Alabama Crawl, man, that thing is like an orange color. This water I'm fishing here is real clear, so. Green pumpkin's good on this water right here. They can see it from a long ways away. Let's try another jig bite. The new what? Nuh uh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, bro! 
Look at this! Oh, those are too big, dog! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Best habit! No. Oh no! Damn! Look at that big boy! I saw him, dog. I said, so, 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 dog. <laughs> There, that's what we were waiting they're for. Five pounders? I don't know, bro, but they're. Let me see. They're two five pounders, bro. God damn, they're heavy. They're two fives. <laughs> Ooh! One might be a six, dog. You did it, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, when I felt the weight on both of them, I was like, oh, damn. 50 pound braid, baby. Wait, wait. Eight. Four twelve. Four twelve guys. Four twelve guys. 21. Look at that guys. Twenty-one. Damn. Bam. Bam. There it is. Bass habit.